here in Texas Gun Club and we are coming to shoot because we are in Texas. <laughs> After training, it's the best what we can do to spend the day. So I think we're gonna shoot some pistols. Let's see what we have. My favorite to shoot and like to practice is 9mm. So, but I'm open to any caliber. <laughs> they knew. CZ75, her favorite. And Glock 19, my favorite. <laughs> For me, why Glock? Because this kind of gun who would work doesn't matter what, doesn't matter where, it will work. And um, in my mind, in, it's same like MMA fighters, mixed martial art fighters, it's universal fighter. And this is a Glock, it's same, universal, universal style. That's good. Now I know why they call it the bullet. Probably one of the best shooters in her and her sister I've ever seen. I've been around military, police, they shoot very well. <laughs> Those one are mine. Those one, this one. This. So you're saying no, no. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Enjoy. Bye. Best of luck to you on Saturday. We try to go to the beach as much as possible. It's pretty cold right now, but uh, anytime the sun's out, we try to come to the beach whenever we can. We love it here. We're always in the gym all day, fighting all day, thinking about fighting, talking about fighting. So it's nice to come here and nothing here has to do with fighting at all. He doesn't listen. We have no authority over him. Like we're like, come over here. And he doesn't move and we all walk towards him. <laughs> when we go to fight weeks, we have to take Pablo, we call it camp. We take him to camp, we put him in a kennel. It's like the worst part about fight week. <laughs> You're good at that. I'm a little bit better than you are. You're definitely worse. I can't stand it. Yeah, he's like, he struggles with it so much. The dog's fine. It's just us. We're like a whole week without him. It sucks. It's Monday fight week. I feel freaking fantastic, man doing my uh, fight week workouts. Uh, we work out around 11 because we're walking around 11. We're out here working, man. We're getting rounds in. We're, we're opening up the lungs. We're getting good movement, game plans, that type of stuff. I'm so dangerous right now. My timing, my range, everything's on point. I mean, it's fight week, man. It doesn't get any better than this. Yeah, man, he's in the barn and he's ready to roll um, right now. Staying sharp, keeping everything crisp, keeping his reactions good, um, just pushing it, getting a blowout, man, just solidifying the game plan, keeping, keeping everything uh, keeping everything tight, keeping everything solid, man, and uh, yeah, just, just getting ready for new uh, light heavyweight champion of the world. Easy work. Gonna have to put me down, Jones, so I'm not stopping. I can go all day out here. Let's go. And when it all goes down, I'm not going to be surprised. Everybody else will, but... As the old Stockton proverb goes, I'm not surprised. <laughs> it's gonna be a great week, man. My weight's low, probably about 217 right now. So, uh, and normally I show up to fight week around like 225, so I, uh, I'll be a little bit smaller than I normally am competing. But I feel plenty strong, so I don't think a few pounds of weight is going to make the difference. Uh, it's going to be about endurance in this fight, speed and agility. And uh, I think I have the advantage in all those areas, and coming in lighter is only going to help in all those areas. Saying about, I'm saying about combine numbers. I'll tell you that. Coming out too, Cody? Yeah, absolutely. Man. And you signed it, it got damaged in the hurricane. Man, I'm sorry to hear that. You, when you signed it, back then you put uh, DC on it, you could do it again. Oh, man. My, my beef with DC is all over. Yeah, I'm going to fight Saturday. 
Another John Jones W. Yes. Yeah, well, you know what it's going on. Yeah, let's get it. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so Appreciate much. See how you are, man. <laughs> I didn't know you were going. Uh, <laughs> man, I got my I got my youngest brother. I got my man Buddha over here. Two of the finest players for the Arizona Cardinals out here supporting me early. We These guys just got back from Super Bowl week. Team and, Jones. Uh, we gotta keep the festivities going for them. I tell you what, yeah. I'm gonna. Make sure that we end up on a great big bang with a with a victory, man. On a great note. On a great man, note. Look at my guy back there. Look at him. Look at him. You got the whole squad. <laughs> you got the whole squad. Listen, we are here live and direct in Houston. Just touched down. <laughs> John Bones Jones. That's right. Oh boy, Buddha. We are here live got, and we direct. Got, we got Chan Ambition. Hey, stay tuned. You heard? <laughs> stay tuned. Chambition. Chambition. That's a good one, huh? Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Been, his, that's been his name since uh, high school. Yeah, for a minute. Ain't no ambition. That's Chambition. Chambition. Man, where did that smell like a turkey sandwich? Smell it. What are you smelling? I got to smell it. What it smell like? Turkey sandwich. Let's see what turkey sandwich, Derek. <laughs> Damn, that smells like paint to me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, hey, I'm gonna go get a drink. You want anything, bro? Uh, from the, the little store in here, the gift shop? Um, probably a tea. Oh, I'm gonna grab tea. Uh, Don't worry about it. You can leave. <laughs> What's up, Derek? What's up? How you doing, my man? Okay, you and the boy confused. Who's that? Oh, oh Steve, Steve Reed, the big yeah. security dude. Mm -hmm. He's got about 30 or 40 pounds on me, man. I don't know, man. Y'all all look alike to me. <laughs> hey, so supplements. You use supplements? No. Don't use any? No. That's good. That's probably the safest thing to do. If you do, and this goes for not just UFC athletes, but anybody, even general consumers, only use supplements that are certified by these companies. And what that means is these companies have taken that supplement, they've tested it for all the banned ingredients, and assuming that it passes, they allow the company to put their stamp on the supplement. Yeah. And then also, me and Don are always available. Like, if you're going to use something, just send us a picture of it just to double check. Sure. And we'll give you the thumbs up or thumbs right down. Hey, Coach. Hey, how are you? How are you? Lista? Yes, claro que sí. Que te va bien. Ojalá. Vas a ganar. This is cool. What do you need to drop that up to an XO? Boom. The sweet, sweet leather. The sweet smell, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Good? Yes, yes good money. Anderson was this unbeatable force, this guy that people couldn't touch. And uh, Chris went out and, and shocked the world. You know, he, he took out Anderson Silva. And I, it's, it's almost the exact same thing that people are saying about me. Like, oh, this Ray is kid. He's not going to beat John Jones. Like, who is this guy? But it's really cool because Chris beat Anderson. And then I beat Chris. So I feel like I've taken that, that power that he had at one time. And he, it's kind of passed the torch on to me. Like, it's your turn, kid. Like, go shock the world. You want to try your fight gloves on, John? Yes, sir. I'll try them on. Yeah. <laughs> Get you going. When you see that, yeah, things get a little more real right away. You're like, let's go. That is your left. He doesn't know what he's getting into, and a lot of the stuff he says really doesn't make that much sense. So I don't really see the uh, comparison. And to be a guy with all these degrees, he doesn't really seem that intelligent to me, to be honest with you. Um, everyone can talk. Everyone's capable of talking. Alrighty. Good. Those winners. These are the winning gloves right here.